matters now. Vermont Food Bank is gearing up for the holiday season. And an event tomorrow gives you the opportunity to help. Local 22's Elena Pinto is live in Barrie this morning. Hi, Elena. Good morning, Mike and Bernie. That's right. So an event tomorrow at Magic Hat can help benefit the food bank. But right now we're at the food bank in Barrie, and I'm talking to Joe Palmer, who is starting his day off today. You're going to be ch or gathering food to bring it back here, right? Tell me about how your day starts. Um, today I'll be doing what we call food rescue, going along to different grocery stores, bakeries, stuff like that, and picking up fresh food. Um, after my route, I'll be bringing it to the community kitchen where it will be prepared into meals for the day. Okay, so you don't even bring it back to the food bank. You just distribute it right away to keep it fresh, right? Um, some of it will come back frozen meat, but anything that's perishable will go right out. And so with fresh food, do you find that a lot more people need that nowadays? Because I always thought, you know, you always think of food banks, you think of non-perishable items, right? So... Um, I mean, perishable items are definitely a need, um, you know, I'll be dairy, stuff like that, um, breads, all of that, that people don't typically get. Mm -hmm. So your job is to make sure it gets out quickly so it stays yeah, fresh? Yeah, most definitely. All right, well, that sounds, that sounds really, really kind of hard, and you got to work fast, I'm sure, but even fundraisers, like the one tomorrow, helps the food bank. So how does each dollar help? Um, I mean, every dollar that the food bank gets, can they make three meals out of it. Um, so, uh, you know, any money coming in can really be stretched for the food bank. Wow, three meals out of just one dollar. That yeah. sounds pretty impossible. That sounds yeah. really cool. All right, so I'll let you get to work if you want to start, Thanks. I don't know, open the garages and, and open up the trucks and pack it all up. Um, he's off on his way because he has a big, long day ahead of him. But if you want to go to Magic Hat tomorrow in South Burlington, they are releasing their seasonal gear. And they will also be having lots of food and samples. It's going to be a fun day. It's but anything you buy will benefit the food bank. So that starts at 5.30 tomorrow. Looks like he is getting ready to pack it up and get on his way. Brittany and Mike. <laughs> All right, perfect, Olivia. i got to get out of his way so he can do his job. Yeah, 5.38. He's just probably already made a meeting this late. Yeah. <laughs> so that event, like you said, is tomorrow at Magic Hat. I believe they're releasing a raspberry stout. Oh. So go good. get a growler, and then it'll, of course,